this is my vlog for tonight. I'd like to introduce you to my new friends. So, this one, this one is Ranchula. We got them. Brandon got me and him from the Desert Museum. Look at all these legs. This is Ranchula. And Brandon just got me this one last night from Chiricahua National Monument. Right? National mm -hmm. Monument. This is Pregnantula. Because <laughs> look, she's so pregnant. And so that's Pregnantula. So now, were, were there eight spiders? Mm -hmm. I think. Um, yep, I told Brad, I'm like, no, no, I don't need any more spiders. And he's like, hold it. And then I did, and I tucked their all close. And he's like, yep, that's what I thought. And then he went and rung her up. So now <laughs> I have so many spiders. Do you know? And right now the camera's sitting on top of Bigfoot Spud. Mmm, spiders everywhere. Tomorrow I'm gonna uh, work on my sigil some more. Tomorrow is in bulk, and it'll be my my new Brandon's first time observing a holy day in bulk, and we're considering the idea of incorporating as many new holidays as we learn about as possible into um what we do and so and then if there's so many holidays then you have a holy day like or a holiday or a sabbath or a sabbath like all the time like every week oh look there's this one oh look there's this next one and so something else i'm gonna do uh brand and i talked about is we're gonna incorporate days of unleavened bread and passover which is some holy days that I grew up observing so that'll be interesting and fun to do objectively um because I haven't really done them in a while but I'm working on reincorporating respect for those ancient traditions that have been uh, so ingrained in me kind of in like a negative perspective just because of the forcefulness that I grew up being like you have to do it, it has to be perfect no bread, none of this none of that these, these, those, those all these rules and regulations and all of these structure but to incorporate them outside of UCG but Maybe I'll have to do some research on how, um, in Judaic tradition, how they actually incorporate those holy days and the seven days of unleavened bread into their tradition and, s and learn more about it. Because, I mean, that's what matzo crackers are about. But I think most of the Jewish people that I've known, they don't follow it super strictly. They more, like, more so just observe it for Passover. But they don't actually like super deep clean their house. At least the ones that I've, I think I've met, who have explained it to me from their perspective. So I have to, I'll do that. Um, I'll listen to some more videos about how the Jews actually incorporate Passover. Well, I guess the Judaic version of Passover would be. Uh, perhaps maybe less focused on sin or well you had to do all the things to eradicate sin from your life that's what all the rules were for but it wouldn't involve but it would only involve um, when the death angel passed over it wouldn't involve um, it wouldn't involve Jesus and when he the last supper so there would be no no eat of this blood and body and um 
So, yeah. So I have to do more research on Judaic versions of incorporating the holy days that I grew up doing. So, yeah. So, tomorrow's in bulk and in the bathtub. Oh. We have it filled up with water and um, I trimmed a bunch of grass, grasses from plants on my patio so we can make a St. Bridges crosses. Um, so we'll do that tomorrow. We're meeting up with a couple new friends and we're going to a new park. And, um, and then if we don't do it tomorrow, then either the next day, because uh, in bulk is over a two day period. And then the next day, then we'll go walk through the desert with a candle and look for new signs of growth of uh, nature and animals in the springtime. What do you think, Mowgli? <sighs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, lots of learning every day. And Brenna? Mm. Brenna, I love you. I love you. Aw, Brenna cuddling Domino. That's cute. Well, it is, it is late. It is indeed late. We took a nap and it was excellently cozy. But now, it's time to go to sleep again. And Mowgli's ready to go to sleep. So are all my spiders. <sighs> oh. And I started a new sigil. I finished my second sigil. And so the second one I made is to go in the bathroom. It focuses on rain and forest spirits dance with us or something like that or we welcome you into this dwelling um i forget the exact wording of it something about rain and forest spirits and dancing so this next one is gonna be um blessed changing of seasons nourish my garden with the new growth is the next one so, yeah, I guess that's kind of an imbulky one. Alright, so good night. Let's sleep a cozy, cozy. Bye!